Welcome back to an episode of Let's Build Twitter. We are in episode 66, and today we start out by making a brand new class for the image controller, and this is going to act as a general endpoint for the browser to request images to display on the front end. Inside of the new controller, we set up a new handler, which takes a path variable of the file name that we want to get, and then also uses the methods that we created from the previous episode to get that file from the hard drive and send it back as an array of bytes. We make sure that everyone can access this image route by modifying our security configuration and finally we create two new exceptions for the possible issues that we might have while uploading or downloading an image update our service methods to actually throw these new exceptions whenever something bad happens as well as a new exception handler to send a default message inside the image controller as always i'm ethan on a coder let's hop straight into the development so before we actually go through and and do the next round i think i want to go into our the footer backend application job and set up a a bean or or I guess not set up the bean, but play with the bean or the command line args thing. That way we don't have to keep recreating people over and over again. But now we are going to create an image controller just to generally get images for the user, for anyone. Because if you think about it, our images could be on post, they could be a profile picture, be a banner, anything like that. So we need a more generalized controller. So I'm gonna make a new class. I'm gonna call this image controller. And we're going to add at rest controller to this guy like so and that's good to go we're going to add at request mapping and this is going to be the slash images or slash image okay i did with the s cool and then we're going to say at cross origin i don't really think using at cross origin is the right way to do it for spring security but i don't really care it works so it is what it is and go ahead and import that so we are going to need a public final and we need a image service image service here and go ahead and import image service and then we also need to go ahead and set up our auto wired and public image controller and then this is going to say image uh, service image service and we're going to go ahead and auto wire the image service in here and the main purpose of our image controller is to simply going to be to retrieve images from our server so we're going to say at get mapping and then this is going to be a slash file name and we might also get images by post or something i'm not sure uh, but we'll say public response entity and then this is going to be a byte array and we can just put the lowercase byte in there because an array is a uh, object so that's fine we're going to say download image and then we're going to have an at path variable for the slash file name at path whoops if I could type, that'd be cool. Path variable. And this is going to be a string file name. I guess we don't have to add string file name in there. String file name. And then this is going to be good. Go ahead and import git mapping. Go ahead and import response entity and the other stuff we need. And this is going to be pretty simple. All we're going to do is literally just uh, say byte array. And then we'll say image bytes. Maybe is equal to image service dot download image. And then we'll pass it that file name. And then we'll return the response entity dot. And we'll say status HTTP status dot OK. We'll set the content type to the media type dot value of, and then we're going to say image service. So I'm actually going to do one of these because this is starting to get a little bit big. So we're going to say media type to content of image service dot get image type. So that's why we needed that. We're going to say dot body is going to be the image bytes. 
Then we need to import a couple of things here. So go ahead and import the HTTP status. Go ahead and import media type from Spring Framework. And there we go. So this is why we have the get image type because the image bytes doesn't actually return the image itself. So we don't have the information. So we need some way to get that. So now theoretically anything that's like slash images or whatever, we should be able to just find the image. The only issue being that we do need to go ahead and set up a permit all to this because if you think about it, you can get on Twitter without logging in and view images on a post. And you can also view people's profile pictures and stuff without signing in. So we do want to go ahead and go into our configuration and inside of our request we're going to say dot mvc matchers and we're going to say slash uh, images slash star star dot permit all and we're just going to allow anyone to download images well i don't want to say download but view images and that should be fine so that's all good to go and then now what i want to go ahead and do is just quickly set up a couple of exceptions that way we can have some handlers for those so the first thing I want to do is create an unable to um, unable to save photo exception. So instead of our exceptions, we're going to make a new class. And this is going to be an unable to save photo exception. And this needs to extend exception because I found out recently from reading a book that I was um, reading or from reading a book that I was learning more about Java in that you don't want to use runtime exceptions. And this is just going to have um, a singular public uh, constructor, words are hard, unable to save photo exception. And then this will take in nothing. And then we're just going to say super, or we will say that um, unable to save the supplied photo and then i want one more which is unable to resolve photo so make a new exception new class and then this is going to be unable to resolve photo and in here once again this is going to extend exception and we'll sure we can add the serial id and we'll just have a public unable to resolve photo exception. And this is just gonna say super and the photo you are looking for cannot be found. And um, let's see what I did wrong. Oh, I want to call this exception and I'm going to have to rename something real quick. That's fine. Exception. And let me rename this. So refactor source, uh, refactor, rename, add exception at the end of this. So now what we want to do is close out of these and come back into our uh, image service. So here, instead of returning file upload unsuccessful, we want to throw new unable to save photo exception and then we also need to throw um, we also need to go ahead and say that this throws an unable to save photo exception like that and of course there's going to be one other issue um, and I accidentally deleted my closing one and then for the download one instead of returning null here we'll throw a new unable to resolve photo exception like so and then we also need to declare that this method is going to throw this so now we'll say uh, throws unable to resolve photo exception and now of course this is going to cause issues 
inside of our controllers. So the, the user controller, I'm just going to say throws unable to save photo exception like so and import that and then inside the image controller also say throws unable to resolve uh, image exception and this will primarily fix everything we need so now the last thing that we need to do is actually set up a handler for these that way if, if one of these does happen it's all good so we'll go ahead and finally we'll say um, at exception handler and we're going to throw in an unable to save photo exception dot class and we'll throw in an unable to resolve photo exception dot class and then in here we'll just say a public response entity of type string whoops I don't know why that added the tab there and we'll say handle photo exceptions and then in here what we'll do is just say return new response entity of type string and then we'll say unable to process the photo so just general and then we'll have an http status of not acceptable and then we need to just go ahead and import this one and import the exception handler and save so now that will help us out if we break anything so now finally what we can go ahead and do is walk through all of this again and actually get the the picture so i need to go ahead and delete the image out of here because it's going to be broken so i'm going to go ahead and delete this and then what i'm going to go ahead and do is go into postman and let's just walk through we'll go ahead and register and grab our username we're going to go into the update phone number paste in our username Okay, we're gonna email ourselves the code. Okay, I'm gonna paste this in first. Then I'll grab our code. So back to our list and let it do its thing. All right, we got our code, copy and paste our code. Okay, we'll log in. Actually update our password first. We'll log in. We got our token grab our token go into our user pfp go ahead and set up our authorization and send okay we got our picture so now what we should be able to do is if we want to view our profile picture i'm actually going to do it up here though i'm going to make a new request and this is going to be a get request to slash images slash um file i guess http colon slash slash localhost colon 8000 slash images slash then we're going to paste in that picture name and as long as we have the authorization actually we don't need the token here now this should grab the picture for us and as you see we got the unknown coder profile picture right there and everything set up for grabbing and posting images Unfortunately, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, please sure leave a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.